Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I was wondering, um, uh, you know, I don't do reviews on, on stuff, I, but, I, but I talk about things to make you think about things. And one of these things is uh, a knife. And it's, uh, I, I'm not sure how people think when it comes to carrying a knife when you travel uh, abroad, when you travel in foreign countries. Uh, you know, we don't know the laws. And uh, normally when you go to a foreign country, it's normally not just one country, it's a series of countries, so, you know, it's hard to know the laws. Even in the United States, uh, it's surprising uh, what the laws are when it comes to knives and um, uh, even I didn't realize it. Uh, knives are considered arms. Uh, when I think of, an ar of arms I normally think of firearms but knives are also considered uh, being armed. So there are laws uh, not only in the states, uh, that's why I say I didn't realize it, you don't hear that much about it, but there's some cities in the United States where certain knives are illegal. And um, they make these laws really for uh, bad guys. That's really what they make the laws for. Now, sometimes uh, they apply those laws to good people. And that's what I was talking about, bad cops. When bad bad cops will do that, uh, they uh, and that's why it also gets me about the laws in the United States. The laws are made for the bad guys; they're not made for good guys, uh, because good guys break laws all the time. Uh, they use laws when they get a bad guy, and then they start dumping laws. Uh, all, all the laws they break, they dump it on them. That's how the system works. Now. Uh, so, and the same thing goes with knives, uh, because I carry all kinds of knives depending on where I'm going and how I'm going, stuff like that. And uh, it's really weird because um, down here, you know, machete, everybody's got machetes. Uh, but uh, they don't like me having a machete. <laughs> so, uh, and they tell me, well, uh, there's no law against having a machete, but uh, when I have a machete, it's illegal. And, uh, well, it might be it is illegal, but for people to have a machete, it's okay. But I don't know how, I don't, I'm not quite sure how it works. Uh, but I say they frown upon me having a machete. Even when I was riding, all those years I rode on a motorcycle, uh, I, sometimes I did carry a machete and they hated that and they always wanted to either confiscate it or prosecute it. and um, so so you know there is a problem when it comes to blades and um, this is what I want to talk about and um, uh, I say I always carry uh, some type of a, a blade now, uh, now it's funny because you wouldn't think uh, this is a Leatherman, and I say you wouldn't think carrying a Leatherman uh, would be, uh, you know, just a pair of pliers and a knife and all that kind of stuff, and you wouldn't think that would be a problem, but it it does it does turn into a problem. It is a knife, and so uh, you have to watch out now. This is a lot easier to get away with because, like I say, it is a multi-tool, and so uh, we can get away with that. But uh, uh, that's not a guaranteed thing. Uh, when I went to Cuba, uh, they confiscated my my Leatherman when I went to Cuba. So, uh, that, but like I say, they could have threw me in jail too. But they decided just to confiscate. Me. Uh, so uh, uh, there are limits and you have to be prepared because you know I know there's there's always laws they every time I drive around and I go to all these different places there are all the times 
I'm breaking this law, breaking that law, and so I got to wait to see, are they planning on locking me up, or how are we going to handle this? So there's there's ways of uh, of handling all this, and normally, like I say, the first thing they got to do is they profile you to see if you're a good person. If you're a good person, then they kind of let you go on uh, the stuff. Now, um, now I carry, uh, when I'm traveling, I carry a K-Bar, and that's the big knife. And they really don't like that. And I carry a machete. They don't like that. I mean, it's really bad when I travel. I'm driving in a foreign country, and they see these weapons. And it's, it's really, really tough. So far, uh, they just give me a bunch of trouble, but nobody's tried to confiscate it, or uh, they haven't thrown me in jail, or I haven't had to, I don't pay bribes and stuff like that on that kind of stuff. But uh, there is some other things you want to uh, think about. And here, I wanna, I'm want to show you now. Uh, now this is a, uh, a small pocket knife. And this, for me, this is very small. Uh, it is, most of the time it is legal. They don't like it because you see the, the width of the blade and it looks, looks kind of big. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks, it looks kind of big. And, uh, but like I say, that's the smallest, the smallest one I have. And uh, that's cold steel. Now I've been using cold steel. I've had pretty good luck with it. There's some of them that uh, the design or, or something about them not quite so good, but that's it. Now, Here's another cold steel that I, I carry. Now this one here is, you can see, it's much bigger. Now this one here is over three inches. A lot of them, three inches is their limit. This is over three inches. This is a, a, a scary one. They don't, uh, they don't like that. Uh, but like I say, it just depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing. Now, uh, because I've been having so much trouble with knives, um, I started, I just, this last trip back, I got a new knife. And, uh, oh, let's see if I can get it out here. It's, uh, see, it's just a little dinky. It's small. It's less than three inches. And uh, probably about, to, probably smaller than that small pocket knife I have. But it's a fixed blade. I, I like fixed blades. And uh, this, it's in a, uh, a sheath that uh, I've, it's small, and I uh, wear it on my belt. And you can either wear it horizontal, or like I say, hang it upside down, or have it hang it on your belt. And what I do when I hang it like that, I have. Let me see if I can show you. See, it's stuck in the pocket. It'll be right there, and in the pocket. And like I say, I'll wear the light shirt over it, so you really don't see it. And then, uh, uh, and I got this one in particular, and then I went on and put it so then you can put it around your neck and hang it around your neck. And uh, so you can, uh, like I say, uh, wear, uh, if you're going, uh, if you're gonna go boating or, uh, uh, and I see, I always wear a shirt. And so if I even went to the, the beach, I still wear the shirt and I have that knife hanging on. So I'd have my swimming trunks on and still have that knife on me. Now, uh, now this is the hard part that I have with people and they think a knife is a weapon. And that's why you saw the different sizes. Now these, what I pretty much take these every place I go. And um, a lot of people look at these as weapons. I look at them as tools. I don't use them to fight. Uh, I've even said that in my videos. I don't like fighting with a knife. And uh, I don't appreciate it when somebody pulls a knife on me. So uh, when you, you pull a knife on somebody and they have a gun, they're going to shoot you. <laughs> you know, so uh, I don't see the advantage in using a knife in a fight. And uh, so all of my knives are tools that are used for this. And, and like I say, I keep them sharp uh, because that's what they're for. They're a cutting tool. And if they're not sharp, they're not going to cut. Uh, so uh, 
you want them in a convenience, uh, like say the one like I had on the necklace, and then like I say the Leatherman, uh, it's a multi-tool, so I've got all kinds of stuff with it. And the pocket knives are just easy access. That's well, that's what I have them for. But uh, anyway, uh, I thought I would mention this stuff to you, so then this will give you something to think on. Uh, when you're traveling, uh, if you're going to have a knife with you, like I say, uh, I would say uh, at the, a minimum would be a small pocket knife, like my, my, my small one there, and that's like two and a half inch blade, uh, two and three quarter inch blade. That would be the smallest you would have. And uh, like I say, not so much for uh, self-defense. That's not what I would have it for. Uh, you really have to practice. You have to know what you're doing with the knife. So, but it's the idea you can use it to open things and, and stuff like that. So a minimum you need that. And like I say, that small sheath knife is, uh, is something that I'm trying. This is the first time I've been using that, that knife. Um, uh, so um, I'll, I'll let you know more about that later on. But like I say, it's, it's smaller than uh, my pocket knives, but at the same time, it's, it's a fixed blade, so it's, it's a usable tool. But anyway, I just wanted to share that all with you, so uh, y'all take care, and this is Mike, nostressmike.com.